Welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to Working Out. I'm Holly Pink, I'm a personal trainer and online fitness coach, and this is part four in a series that I started just trying to explain the basics of how to get started working out, what to do when you go to the gym. A lot of people don't know what to do when they're getting started. And this video is gonna help explain foam rolling. A lot of you may not know what foam rolling even is, if you need to do it, what the point of it is, maybe you've never even heard of a foam roller, but it's actually a very important component of working out. Um, it's really important for helping you to stretch, for helping you to get rid of uh, knots in your muscles. The technical name for it is self-myofascial release, which basically means self-massage. It's a way to use a tool in order to break up knots and kind of give yourself a massage um, rather than having to spend so much money to go to a masseuse. This really helps to break up those tight knots that form in your muscles when you're working out so hard all the time. You get really tight and if you're not stretching and if you're not foam rolling, you'll actually end up really hindering your progress um, because you're so tight and your muscles can't move properly and you start to get imbalances and then you're not working out muscles the way that you want to and you're going to slow down your progress. So foam rolling is a very important component of any exercise program. So I'm just going to show you all of the main typical ways to use a foam roller. Just kind of the basic routine that you can do before or after a workout. Help loosen up your muscles and prepare them to work in their full range of motion. It really help to prevent soreness. Again, to help um, prevent tightening and knots building up in your muscles. So foam rolling is something you can do every single day. Really the more you do it, the better for your body. So let's get started. So to get started foam rolling your IT band, you can cross one leg over the other, or you can stack them together for added pressure. Where you're gonna be rolling is from just underneath your hip down to just above your knee. And you're hitting this tight um, area of tissue that's on the outer thigh. And what you're gonna do is just um, rest on your elbow and begin moving down your leg. And how foam rolling works is whenever you feel a tight area, an area of pressure, you're just gonna hold the foam roller there for about 20 seconds, which gives the muscle time to relax and to break up that knot. Then you can switch over to your glutes. Under glutes, you're gonna sit um, facing face forward, your feet in front of you, and then you're gonna lean over to the side about 45 degrees and just roll around until you feel those tight areas again, um, below your hip um, and just on the side where your glute muscles are. And you can kind of move back and forth just a little bit to see where those tight points are and make sure that you're um, really getting those out. It's very common to be pretty tight in, um, in the glutes, in the quads, in the outer thighs, basically all of your legs. Those muscles can get really tight, especially if you're doing a lot of things like squats or if you're sitting a lot. Then you can move to your adductor, which is the inner thigh. You're gonna start just above your knee. Again, you don't wanna be rolling on your joint. So you're always going just below or above the joint. Um, cross your leg over and kinda of let your foot um, just hang without touching the floor. Um, and you can adjust that for pressure. And you can just lean down on your hands and begin moving your way um, up towards the top of your inner thigh. Again, just pausing every time you feel a tight knot, an area of tension. What you don't want to do is just roll back and forth. This is not proper foam rolling. You're not doing anything if you're just rolling up and down the muscles. Instead, what you want to do, like on this calf exercise, you can put one leg up. Again, you can cross them together if you need more uh, pressure on those muscles. But you want to move very slowly so that you're able to really feel those tender, tight areas and hold it in that position for 20 seconds. You can also, as I'm pointing out with my foot, turn it different directions. Turn it inward, turn it outward, so that you're hitting all the different areas of those muscles. Same goes for your hamstrings, your quads, really any area that you want to foam roll. Um, you don't just have to go up and down one straight line, but move your legs, move your upper body around to really find those knots because you may be surprised uh, where they are. They can just be all over the places in areas that you never even knew you had muscles and didn't know that they were tight. Um, the hamstrings works very similar to the calves. You're just starting above your knee and rolling up and down just up to where your glutes start. Again, you can kind of move back and forth, go on the outer part, turn and go a little bit more on the inside, just to make sure you cover all of the areas.
If you have any questions, want tips, need to know more about foam rollers, um, there's a lot of different kinds out there. But any questions regarding foam rolling, please let me know. I would love to help you. If you would like a customized workout plan, a customized meal plan, um, anything like that, I do online programs and I also train people in the West LA area. So get in contact with me and let me know what you need and how I can help you. Until then, good luck on your weight loss and fitness journey.